welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Christy, and I'm talking a little bit lower than I normally do. Uh, my grandson is staying the night. It's actually Saturday night, you guys. It's 10 o'clock Saturday night, and I have not filmed this yet. I usually already have this up by now, so it's just been a, <laughs> a crazy day. <laughs> What'd you do to the dog's thing? What'd you do to the dog's carpet? Is that Logan's chair? And so I'm trying to be quiet because he is down for the night. So, and he's like literally around the corner in the other room for me. So I'm going to try and do this quietly and get through this. Um, I have a very little grocery haul this week. I still had a bunch of stuff um, from previous weeks. So I think my husband and I are going to be doing another Sam's Club haul probably next weekend. So I will have a big haul next weekend. But this weekend is a, a very small haul. So I'm actually still I'm actually still finalizing my um, recipes and trying to catch up on videos. I am watching uh, D or Davina over at Skinny Jeans for Lifetime and looking at her bird Archie. She's talking about hormones, and I guess Archie's really interested in hearing about hormones. All right, so but I need I am so behind on so many people. Okay, so this week I am doing, let me see. So snacks, for those of you who are new, I always pretty much have the same snacks. Sugar-free pudding, snack factory pretzels with queso dip. That's a four point, I didn't even write the points. It's a four point snack, uh, three for the pretzels, one for the queso. Sometimes I use a laughing cow cheese wedge. And then I usually will have fruit throughout the week for zero and then uh, Greek yogurt for two. And the pudding is two as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, for breakfast this week, I think we're going to do breakfast burritos. We haven't done those in a little bit. So I'm going to do those. Just going to be on an Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap. And I think I'm just going to keep it to um, probably Canadian bacon, um, eggs, and cheese. I'm not going to put potatoes in, her, in it this time because I'm going to be having potatoes in the lunch. So... The breakfast burritos are going to be three points. My coffee is two points. I just use um, one coffee, and in each cup, I have eight grams of great value non-dairy creamer and two of the packets of, it's like Splenda, but I use the generic version of Splenda. Um, Tuesday, we are actually having breakfast at work, so I didn't. I don't know what the points are going to be for that. Uh, and then I'll do breakfast burrito Wednesday and Thursday, and then Friday, I'll just do yogurt and fruit for two. For lunches this week, I'm going to do sloppy joe casserole. I did this a few months back, and I used ground turkey breast. If I use ground turkey breast, it's four points. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that. I may use ground chicken. If I use ground chicken, it will be seven points. And if I use 96% ground beef, it will be six points. So you can kind of pick whichever meat you want. So four for ground turkey breast or, chick or chicken breast, six for ground beef, 96% lean, and seven for ground chicken. I just haven't decided which I'm going to use. The reason being because I'm doing turkey meatloaf um, Tuesday and Wednesday night, so I'm not sure if I want to do turkey for lunch too. Um, so that's going to be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, sloppy joe casserole. And then Thursday, I'll do a Laughing Cow Cheese Wrap, basically just an Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap. And I put a uh, Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge on it and then some turkey vegetables. That's two points, and I'll probably do some fruit with that for zero. And let's see, Friday, I'll be doing leftovers from dinner the night before. So speaking of dinners, um, Monday night, it's back to par basil parmesan salmon. Didn't have salmon last week, so I'm going to do that this week. And you guys know I'm just hooked on the basil parmesan 
basil parmesan salmon absolutely love it two points for that three points for the long grain and wild rice i just used the 90 second rice and i think i'm going to do ranch cauliflower with that that night for tuesday night and wednesday night i'm going to do make a double portion of the barbecue glazed turkey meatloaf this is actually a ww recipe so i will link as normal i will link everything up down below um I'm going to do mashed potatoes and cucumbers. Mashed potatoes are going to be three points. Cucumbers, of course, are zero. And then to, uh, Wednesday night, we'll have the same thing. I'll make a double batch of it. Thursday night, I'm just going to stick a whole chicken in the crock pot and do some canned potatoes with that and Brussels sprouts. That whole dinner will probably be about four points. And Friday night, I'm, I think I'm going to do cod cakes with salad. Um, I've made tilapia cakes before, but I think I'm going to try cod cakes. I don't have any points next to them because I haven't even begun to put the recipe together for that one yet. So I, any recipes I do already have together, I'll put down below. So that's my plan for the week. And if you're new, Saturday and Sunday I leave blank. We don't know what we're ever going to do on the weekend, so I usually wait until later in the week, about Thursday or Friday, um, and then we decide what we're going to have then. So now I will show you my little grocery haul. I'm telling you guys, it's a very tiny, very tiny grocery haul this week. Okay, you guys, I think this is my smallest haul ever. So I only picked up a few things from Aldi and Publix this week. I still have a bunch of meat in my freezer uh, from the bulk meat that I bought at Sam's Club. I have at least another week in there. And I picked up a few things because I thought I was going to make chili. We were supposed to get a cold front come through this weekend in Florida, but I don't think it's going to be as cold as we thought tomorrow. So I'm actually changing my, changing what I had planned. I planned on chili this week, but I think we're going to wait on that. So I'm going to start down here with Aldi. So I picked up some turkey breast that is zero and some of the whole potatoes. I always just keep these in the pantry. Um, these are three points for two thirds of a cup. So I picked up a couple cans of those. Got my husband some more of his favorite pickles, which are super good. And uh, picked up some kidney beans, which was supposed to be for the chili. Oh, I guess, I guess I got three cans of potatoes. And then I picked up some more Kodiak cakes um, this is the butter buttermilk kind. Last time I, the last one I got was the chocolate, and that is, oh goodness, I think and th I think that's five points for half a cup. And then I picked up um, some cal just some frozen vegetables to have California medley, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. And then at that's it for Aldi, <laughs> tiny little haul. At Publix, I picked up my husband's um, creamer for his coffee. It's the sugar-free French vanilla coffee mate. And that one you can have, I think it's three tablespoons is one point. And then I got some uh, low-fat cottage cheese. This kind is three points for half a cup. And some chicken breast. Those are zero. And let's see. Um, this is regular corn. Then I got the golden white corn. That's my favorite. Love that kind. And I got some manwich for the sloppy joe casserole. And picked up some French style green beans. A can of crushed tomatoes. Then I picked up another box of my fiber one cereal. Um, this is the cereal I absolutely love. Two points for one serving, which is 30 grams. So that is my little tiny haul this week. So thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you are new, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload new content. And I will see you guys in my next video, which should be my meal prep video. I am Christy and I am planning us healthy.